I thought I'd do a reaction. I don't normally do reactions. Everyone does reactions, but um, I, I do like like Renaissance music and, and medieval music and Norse folk and all that kind of stuff. Um, so this song I haven't heard yet, but I've been told it's kind of should be up my alley. Bo um, Bulgarian folk. It's called Kaval Sviri or something. So let's listen to it. I think, I don't know if it's just me, but I think I can hear, it sounds like it's in e, maybe E minor, and you can hear the minor notes, but you can, all, I think you can also hear they throw an F in there, so it, which creates this dissonance. It's almost like Phrygian combination of the minus Aeolian mode and Phrygian mode together. That's really, really cool. I think that's what they're doing. I'm not sure if that's what they're doing, but that's what it seems to sound like. What's that? Hang on. I heard that. I thought I heard that before. Rewind. There was two, like a... again in a, a strange way it sounds like it has modern elements in it like almost like an an ostinato or, or a riff uh it's got a, a hook almost like a hook layered on top of a very organic you know not hooky bass almost like a very folk bass with a hook there i don't know if it's a modern song i doubt it is but it uh, definitely is ahead of its time. If it's not modern, it's ahead of its time. There's a lot of modal changes going on there, which they do in medieval music a fair bit, especially very early medieval music. Before they really had modes kind of set, they would experiment with different modes. I thought I even heard like a some kind of a major mode that almost has African vibes to it, an African sensibility about it. Interesting. <laughs> Oh, that's probably the end anyway. Right there before the end, there was a bit, you can hear, ah, 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 this high voice, which is very, very reminiscent of Lisa Gerard from Dead Can Dance, an Australian band called Dead Can Dance. Exceptional singer, Lisa Gerard. She's worked with Hans Zimmer. She's been used for movies like The Gladiator. And she does that type of thing. Very, very world music. I think you hear that type of stuff in African music, but you do hear it in around the world. That, ah, I'm just gonna rewind that again, hang on.
I'm a fan. I'm a fan. That was amazing. I found a guy doing the same song, Luca Bassetti. Why don't I listen to that as well? I know what the melody reminds me of. I'm just going to pause. It reminds me of Host of Seraphim by Dead Can Dance. It's got a very similar melody to the Dead Can Dance song called Host of Seraphim. That melody there. But also the way... Let me have a listen to it again. Also reminds me of a, a Nordic band called Beardy B Y B Y R D I. I think it is Beardy B Y R D I Beardy, and they got songs like "Blown Blown on a Blower" and stuff like that. Thy blown on the I listen to a lot, but it's there's a lot of vocal harmonies with men where it's changing modes like this, and it sounds a bit similar to this. Hand rubbing is a percussion. Love how the percussion is all man-made. All the sounds are man-made. Oh, call and response. Very African sort of. Then you got a very Nordic melodies. Jazz, it's jazz. All over the place, like yes. But Speedy, that sounds like Beardy. This section sounds like Beardy. That sounds like yes. That sounds like a prog rock band, yes. That Phrygian thing again at the end. Wow, that's amazing. Very big fan of that.